Good afternoon, my friends. Today, well, first, uh, welcome to Frenchie's uh, video. Today, I'm going to show you a card made with it's the big die, the tasteful trim. And it, when I mean by the big die, it's a long one. I don't know if I can even take it all on the video. But we're going to use the big scallop. And we're going to do a little uh, Valentine's card. I don't even have a sample. I'm going to go as it come. I got it in my mind. So I'm going to do something like this, but without the circle. I will shoot a video to show you this one next week. So first what we're going to do, what I did... I pre-cut a piece of cardstock five and a quarter by four. This is in um, rose red, and I pass it in the big shot with the polka dot uh, embossing folder. Next thing, I took all pretty much the pink tone that we get with stamping up. So we're gonna the lighter one. It's uh, pre, um, pink pearlette. The next one is Blushing Bride. Then we're going to use Pretty in Pink. The next one is going to be um, Regal Rose. And then uh, this one, I got a tough time to say it, Melon Mumbo. And then Rose Red. So that's all the color we're going to be using. So let's get started. We're going to start uh, gluing this the lighter to the darker. So the first one, like I said, is going to be a um, pink pirouette. I'm going to put that right in the bottom here. The first one, it's always easy to put. Just put it down. Next one, it's going to be uh, the bridal. Okay, this is where the trick happened here. Make sure you put enough and we where you get the it go up you want the center of the other one so about like this and what i like when you use the polka dot it's easy to guide it straight then pretty and pink again you want to overlap That look about right. And don't worry about the side. We're going to trim that when we're done. And then we're going to go with Regal Rose. Hmm. Here we go. And then it's Rose Red. I'm going to make sure I get enough there. some cricket there. Here we go. So it look almost like a fish scale there. This one on this side should be a little bit higher. Let me fix this. And then the last one it's Melon Mimbo. Here we go. That's about right. Now, your next step, this one I don't have enough glue here. You want to make sure you get enough snail because you want all that work. You don't want it to uh, go down, to come apart. Now we're going to take our cutting uh, mat, the cutting board here, and we're going to put that right at the line. And we're going to cut this. Ta-da. I could have cut shorter. When you cut your strip, you want to put, even if your card is just a four inch wide, you need more than four inch wide because you want to do the overlap. So I would say um, four and a half. Uh, I don't know if four and a half. I would go like at least four and three quarter. Voila. Now I'm going to take the Bashful uh, Bride, the new uh, ribbon. I love this ribbon. It's so soft. We're going to cut a piece. We're going to put that in the back. I mean put in the back. Put the around. 
put a little bit in the back so it gets stuck there. Voila. Make sure you put plenty of snail there where you're going to turn it. And turn it there. Now, let's put plenty of snail in the back. Let's fold our piece of cardstock. This is just a regular piece I cut in half. So the finished size is going to be four and a quarter by uh, five and a half in Whisper White. We're going to put this piece on top. And I pre cut, pre punch the little um, hull. And I use the Be Mine. This is a new set we got in celebration, the outline occasion. And it come in this one. And you get the Be Mine. That's where it's from. And we're going to, you know what? I'm going to put him two dimensional because I want him higher. Voila! Oh, that is very cute. That is it for today, my friend. Till next time, happy stamping.